In this video I will open the rewards I've gotten this weekend and also go through the lineups and also show you some new signings I've spent almost the entire budget on for, uh, of course, when the transition period begins very very soon after this international break I have also some midweek lineups so there is actually a lot to go through in today's video so let's uh, jump right into it and starting off we have All Star Rare and this is a team that could have done very well if Benjamin Hamer started Hiroki Ito clean sheet uh, leveling with a goal and Javier Golan started but unfortunately got substituted at half time uh, Cap to 40 rare, this was a roller coaster of emotions because Daniel Iversen conceded 3, but Victor Kristiansen got a clean sheet against Empoli and also uh, had a great AA game and was good in general. Uh, Jonas Adelomid, very unfortunate that he couldn't keep a clean sheet, but his score have just gotten worse and worse and worse, which isn't great. Uh, for Kundbalisti also didn't do too great, although he had he got four yeah he got fouled five times, so um, I feel bad for him, uh, but this team got saved by no, none other than Daniel James. He was on the bench, he came on and he was ice cold in front of goal and scored. Very happy with that, we take the lower threshold all day of the week. And yeah, cap to 20, rare. This could actually be one of my best teams this weekend because I thought uh, when I uh, made this team, this team could have gone all the way actually, because Daniel Bachmann had incredible low L15, Castelletto at home against Strasbourg, uh, I'm sorry, and he is a player that normally smashes it when they're up against worse opposition, and I thought Strasbourg, it would have been like a 1-0 or 2-0 to Nantes, so very very unfortunate, but still respectable score. Valdemar Anton having a man of the match performance, I thought he was incredible against Hamburg, just being so, so um, close to the uh, to the forward of Hoffenheim, uh, Begorst, and just winning all these duels, fantastic. Giovanni Fabian coming on and scoring, I thought he would start, but still he did very well when he came on. Jane Sancho, very very unfortunate that he didn't start. Um, yeah, of course he picked up an injury, and yeah, they're just resting him. I think that is the right decision, but very unfortunate he has finally found his form and uh, in the team. Uh, so it was a little bit unfortunate, I can't lie. And if we scroll up here, we can see that this team could have been incredible. Of course, we would have been very close to reward if David Marshall didn't get an injury. He would have gotten the clean sheet points. They won 3 0. Very unfortunate. Tierney also got benched. This is so annoying. It was 50 50 between Javier Galan and Tierney, and uh, Javier Galan started, unfortunately. Subeldia with a respectable score, McLean with a respectable score, and also Dennis Undav, but I didn't have any smashers, and you need that now on Sawyer to get the reward. And um, very happy to see Dennis Undav and Gurassi linking up that well. Very, very good to see. And this week could have been incredible if the stars would have aligned. Oh, I didn't get a, I didn't get a reward. 1.2 points away. Oh, I actually thought we would get to our first reward. Okay, so that is a little bit unfortunate, actually. Um, but, yeah, that was very unfortunate, actually. I was actually excited to get the champion Europe player, but still, uh, we can go through it either way. Alex Romero, yeah, a clean sheet, he was good. The same with Lederman, but, like, in, f in the first half, he was on, like, 50 points. I thought he would easily get the 70-pointer. But in the second half, he had nothing to do. He gave away one foul, and that was it. Very disappointing, and... Yeah, this was also very, very, very disappointing because Angelo Stilid and Fidesz couldn't manage to do more and that is why I have signed a new player. I will not spoil it, but Angelo Stiller is a player, yeah, that are very consistent and this is something I actually need to talk about because he is criminally consistent. But that isn't good enough for me. I want to do very well, I don't just want to do well. And he have those peak scores because he is on set pieces, he can get you those decisives. But he doesn't do it regularly enough and he haven't those high AA peaks uh, so consistently as I actually want it to be. Chris Fidish also a little bit disappointed with him, but I thought he was very good when I watched, uh, watched the game. He was so direct and of course he had a big chance missed. And this could have been an 80-pointer or a 90-pointer from Chris Fidish. Very, very unfortunate. He also had uh, a chance that Undav should have put away and that uh, was very, very annoying as well. Uh, so that game gave me actually a lot of confidence in Chris Fidish, how direct he was, how good he was. 
And my confidence in Girassi have never been bigger. Like, what a player he is. He can do actually everything. He is so good, so many attempts to assist, so influential, in the heart of everything Stuttgart is doing. His link up with Unda was fantastic, and this was such a dominant performance by uh, Stuttgart, and it gives me so much confidence in him, or in the team in general. Um, but yeah, I have no rewards to open. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we could just slightly move on and just pretend that didn't happen and go through my sign new signings. Of course, you know I have signed a new goalkeeper, Sarkic, but, but you don't know I have signed two new players, and that is Maximilian Mittelstadt and also Harry Wilson. And you probably wonder why I have signed Maximilian Mittelstadt's all season card, because of course he's a Stuttgart player. I have a Stuttgart collection, and I will explain you why. Firstly, let's go to all his cards, um, or we don't need to go to all his cards, or we actually do, because there are some new cards listed, I need to just check that I haven't over... Uh, yeah, he got bought right now, I think. He got bought right now. Uh, with an auction... With a... Oh, yeah, 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 nice, okay. Uh, sorry about that. Um, that. Yeah, that is also why I bought him. Okay. Uh, let's look at the screen right here. Um, I traded with uh, Dorij Baji. Uh, I have butchered his name most likely. He listed this Maximilia Mittelstad for $126, I think. And there were two other Mittelstads, the same season card, one for $110 and one for $126. Another one at the same price. But like the thing with this is that he had a level 20 card, first of all, level 20 card, incredible, which also was a jersey mint, so I will get automatically when buying him a 10, uh, uh, 1% boost, I mean. And of course, they take away a lot here, that is very unfortunate. So he is on a 7% level bonus, which is very nice. And if I would have bought the new season card of Mittelstadt, I would have only gotten uh, a 2% boost from the collection I already have. And also, I would most likely get a level 0, or I mean, like the lowest level, like level 5% collection bonus, but I would have gotten a 0% level bonus. I hope that makes sense. Um, and the reasoning for me going for this then was because I thought it isn't so close to the end of the season, and also 10 or $15 away from 129 euros, it's pretty fair. A little over 10 for a jersey mint, which is a way, way... Um, which is on a way, way higher level, I mean. And also I saw this card got sold for 156 euros, so I didn't know high, how high this card would have actually gone up. And if I would have been in that auction, the card would have most likely came up to 140 euros or something. So uh, looking back at it, I'm pretty happy with my decision because I get a good percentage card. Uh, and of course, it will be harder for me to fit him in uh, in-season competitions, but that is a risk I'm uh, willing to take. And also, if I want to trade him with a new in-season card, I can just do it, pay a 10 euro extra mark or something. Uh, because I'm very tempted to... Uh, I will talk about that uh, a little bit further as well, uh, when it comes to my real plan behind this. Uh, because, of course, I want to have a middle cell collection, and I want to buy the whole middle cell collection, but you know me, uh, I don't want to do it halfway, uh, like I have actually done it halfway because I bought him as a Hatta Berlin card. But you know uh, what I'm talking about, I'm talking more about uh, the goalkeeper situation with Nubel and you know me, I don't want to risk it if he, for example, gets uh, if he becomes a benchkeeper for uh, Bayern München next season. But one, uh, so that is like the main reason, and I want Mittelstab because uh, I haven't even mentioned why. Just look at these incredible scores. Of course, you ha you have the uncertainty that he have been a bench player for a long time, and um, that is a little bit scary. But looking at these recent scores, I think he will keep it up. He is so offensive with the Chris Fierisch, just incredible to watch, and also has been called up to the Germany squad. That is also why I bought him. And I will, like the mo in many cases, the lineup will then be uh, the, in the goalkeeper spot. We'll have, of course, Alex Remiro, Mittelstadt, um, uh, Fyrish, Undav, and also uh, Gurassi. Those will be the five players I will most likely put in each week in Champion Europe in season, which is just for me just so, so strong. Um, and I will also uh, tell you, um, like the new players I'm uh, trying to buy now. But firstly, let's talk about Harry Wilson, because he's um, an underdog. 
Um, I will very very soon tell you why I have bought Harry Wilson. Firstly, he have those high peak scores, but that isn't the main reason. I got him for a pretty pretty fair price, price in my opinion, 22 euros, and he got sold for 30 euros a little bit later, which just gave me the confidence that this was actually a great purchase. Um, that is because I can just show you this fastly, uh, the midweek lineup this weekend, because we didn't have a midfielder in Cap 240 rare, so therefore we bought Harry Wilson, and this lineup is very strong. I went for the middle target. Uh, I could actually play this team in All Star or Cap 270, but I think if I don't have confidence that this team will hit 390 points, should I have actually play them in All Star team, All Star competition? Then, like that is like a little bit conflicting because um, I could have either just changed this to 390 points and then play them here and try to get the 390 point mark and also get some rewards on top of that. So I think in general this could backfire, but in general you never know with Wales, they may concede to Fidlin, and then this team have no chance of getting the highest point mark and also uh, doing very well in All-Star and make it be actually worth it. The same with Limited, a uh, team that could do decent, uh, just depending on Kiefer Moore starts and also Robin Lude playing against Wales and I have Danny Ward. So I will be very lucky if this team actually hits 340 points, but we have Harry Sotar. He's incredible for Australia, so hopefully he smashes a 100 or something. Uh, but yeah, my plan in general now for the transition period, some of you have asked, I will probably sign some new players. I will probably make specifically videos about that. Uh, the only downside is that I don't have too much uh, in my wallet, 150 euros altogether. I want to buy a new goalkeeper in Champion Europe. Uh, I want to, uh, of course, finish the collection in Collection to Glory. I've uh, spent a lot of time on that. I also want a new forward from um, from a championship side, pretty strong. And one player I've looked at for a long time now that I really, really like and I really, really want to buy, that is Ashley Barnes. Barnes here. Uh, not. Ashley Barnes, Ashley Barnes from Norwich, ten ten dollars. A team that scores a lot of goals. He takes penalties. He plays pretty consistently, uh, and he also actually have a double game week in game week four hundred and sixty three against Plymouth and also Leicester, which is very very nice. And I think there is a lot of Championship teams having double game weeks that weekend, so it may not be that strong to have Ashley Barnes. But there is also another champion Euro player that I'm pretty interested in picking up, and that is Demirovic. Demirovic. Uh, that is another player I'm very... And this isn't a championship player, by all means, but this is... Oh, he's injured. With yellow card suspension. Okay, that's that's right. Uh, and that is against... Oof, that is against Köln, so that is very bad, actually. He got yellow card, but we can see he takes penalties. I think he takes some set pieces, and in general, he's um, he's the captain of the team, and Augsburg scores a lot of goals. But it's a little bit concerning that he won't get the game against Köln because that is a very, very, very good game. So that may actually put me off going for him. Uh, but he's also a player I have hand, had on the watch list for a long time, and a player I have actually had at limited level in a very, very good period of time and I really like him as a player uh, when he has uh, a lot of confidence he's one of the best strikers in the Bundesliga in my opinion and um, of course Nubel is also a player I have uh, looked at and also Oblak I have looked at and also Diogo Costa but I need to be realistic I don't I can't afford going for every one of these I need to pick my uh, strength and I think Nubel is a player that I really want but he's a player that are pretty uh, expensive, 260 euros here, 202 euros here, which is a very, very fair price. But this is a player I want to have in my Stuttgart collection in specific to also contribute getting that bonus. And also another reasoning for me actually wanting to do this and having uh, another goalkeeper is that I want to participate in the champion division. Uh, and of course, I, the only goalkeeper I have now is Remiro. Uh, if I go to Alex Remiro. And he is good enough, yes, but in terms of his price, he has gone down a lot. He has gotten a clean sheet recently, which is nice, but if we go to his 380, yeah, that is fair, but his new season card, 300, yeah, 300. Um, 
to be fair, he has some very good features upcoming here. Four out of his five ne uh, next features are very great, but one thing is, for example, in Game Week 450, 50, 465, we can see here that um, uh, that Stuttgart have a feature, but Real Sociedad doesn't have a feature. So that is one thing that is very, very bad for me because I want to play in that game week. So if, for example, I buy Nubel, I can go for a full Stuttgart collection against away against Dortmund. It's a tough fixture, but it's a game or it's a fixture where I know Stuttgart can just go there and win 2 or 3 nil, and I could be on for a good finish. Of course, you never know with Stuttgart, and that is something I really like, and that is also another reason I want to go for Nubel. But of course, as I mentioned, the big downside is that you don't know where he's heading. Like, it would be so extremely annoying if he just left, like completely just abandoned Stuttgart and joined Bayern München, getting a bench a spot for the remainder of the next season, which is something you don't like to see. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is my plans for the future, and uh, hopefully I can perform this midweek. Do you have any midweek or international break lineups? Uh, please leave that in the comments, and I will catch you next one. Bye bye, and take care. Peace.